Hamilton. So that's Chippy at the LG booth, NWC 2012. We're taking a look at the Optimus View, which is the 4.3 kind of weird size device, but hello. Let's have a look at some stuff we can do on this. I mean, reading is one of the things I'm thinking of here. But we're going to get a quick demo of the pen and maybe some, some annotation stuff uh, here. Sorry about the lighting, but so maybe you could uh, just demo that, uh, that pen stuff there. Have a show. Um, you look at this, this is just a PowerPoint presentation. So we're in a PowerPoint. And you can press anytime, anywhere, this button on the top. Here. And that button does... Okay, screenshot. Yes, you can make... Okay. It's, it's, it's not yet a screenshot, but now you can make marks on it. Yep. Like this. Um, and you can share it directly. Sure, yeah. Gmail, email, social. Or you just save it in your gallery or into your notebook. As a JPEG, yeah? As a JPEG, exactly. Yeah. Okay, we're just having a look at the uh, the pen here. It's, a, it's not a capacitive tip. There's a digitizer layer here. I don't know if this... Is this an active pen? Does it have a battery in it? It's a battery in it. There's a battery in this, yeah? So it could, could run out, okay. So, just want to do a little bit of uh, palm rejection test. So, of course, we can we can write with the uh, write with the pen here. The problem is, it's no palm rejection. So, as soon as you're putting your palm down, it takes over control of the screen, and then you can't write anymore. So, it's a shame because with a digitizer layer, it would have been nice to to have that sort of palm rejection capability for for that. But anyway, that's the pen. You can. Oh, finger on that one. It's not a, as I said, not a capacitive tip, so it won't work on the, the button. So I use your finger there, and I don't think there's a, there's no stow place to put the pen. So, but it does control the UI as well. Actually, there's no battery. Ah, oh, it's, it's a, it's a. Um, it, it works on your, on, the, on your. Yeah. Energy. Okay. All right. So it's, it's a not, it's, it's not an active pen. There's no battery in there. But it's kind of useful for, for moving around. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure quite if I see the big value of the pen in this situation without the, the palm rejection. But anyway, it's a nice little device. Definitely a good device for, for reading. Um, five inch display. This is XGA. What are we? 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor. So it's probably priced pretty high, I'd say. If you're just going to buy this as a, as a reading device, probably. Need to think about other uses, other uses scenarios as well. So we got a hold of one that's actually not in a in a stand here. It's actually extremely light. I don't actually know what the the weight is. I'm trying to look at the specs, but it uh, doesn't show the weight. But it's really light for the size. Nice and thin. It's got a plastic bag. Um, yeah, it feels plastic, but it's actually quite grippy. So compared to some sort of uh, metallic finishes, it's not as, as slippy as that. There's a speaker down there, LED on the uh, camera. Don't know what the port here is for. I guess that's going to be SIM card. It looks like it's sealed off here. I'm looking for other ports around the outside. Nothing much. But you've got that. Probably that's probably one of the uh, MLC ports, I think. And then there's this uh, button here to take a screenshot that allows you then to, to write on the screen, as you can see there. So as you saw earlier, the, uh, the pen is here. It's a, it's a digitizer. It's not a battery pen, not active. Um, although they've got um, a digitizer layer on here, there's no palm rejection, so bear that in mind if you're looking at the, uh, the LG View. Titus Chippy, Mobile World Congress 2012. Thanks for watching.